Morning everyone, happy Monday. I'm just uh, outside. This is where I'm teaching my Monday morning mindfulness and nature class. Um, it's in my garden just outside the studio. And it's a beautiful morning in Melbourne, which is kind of a bit rare because it has been quite gray the last few days and weeks. Um, but I wanted to talk a little bit today about why mindfulness in nature is such a beautiful practice for our well-being and our mental health um, and just about some of the benefits of it. So when we encounter nature quite often, um, in particular a really beautiful part of nature, we often feel compelled to sit down and that is um, partly due to the fact that when we sit down we can contemplate um, which is kind of a natural way of being mindful and, and practicing mindfulness so the invitation is to you know take up a seat on the ground um, and really feel into your sense of belonging in that place when we contemplate so what we do in, in our class is we find a spot that we really connect with and that's where we sit. And it might just be, you know, somewhere in your backyard, uh, a local park or garden, um, but ideally somewhere where you can kind of get to know. And I think it's nice to have a little Zen spot in your garden that you can um, spend time in. And I've created a few in my garden, including a sort of a spot like around a f where we could have a fire um, but then also other spots um, with different plants as well so this is one of my favorite and this is where I like to teach my class so when we um, sit in nature and move into this kind of contemplative way of being in nature um, which we deliberately cultivate in the class and, and I give guidance on how to do that our attention begins to soften and um, so often in human centric environments um, the design of, of, of those places is very demanding on our attention you know there's a lot of screens nowadays um, there is quite harsh lighting like really bright lighting um, and they often are very clinical kind of looking places um, so when we're in nature, our attention begins to soften because nature is a lot softer, it's a lot messier, um, things connect into other things, we see those connections quite obviously and um, this really helps us kind of relax and move into this state of being. Um, so we really feel that sense of wanting to sit and contemplate and um, a lot of people comment you know like they find it really hard to do a mindfulness practice sort of inside but once they come out in nature it, it's just comes so naturally to them which I think is really great um, so when we move into this contemplative way of being we go into a kind of dialogue with nature um, and it's this kind of intuitive instinctive way of being that uh, is really where our connection is to nature sure we can think about nature and we can develop theories and conceptualize it um, name it you know label it but it's in that instinctive and um, intuitive way that we can really start to be in communion with nature and I think that this is something that we kind of lose touch of when we're online um, or when we're, you know, in human in human centric environments a lot. So when we move into this contemplative state, we can really start to examine uh, our sense of self in nature and who we are um, in nature. And it's really important this kind of experience because it, it really gives us a chance to reconnect with who we really are and reclaim that that sense of well-being um, and having that kind of dialogue with the natural world which is so important 
not only for ourselves and our community, but also for nature itself. Um, and I think more than ever, we need to really do this practice. Um, but it, it also, yeah, really helps us slow down and connect with what's important. So thanks for joining me today and I hope you have a really good day. Bye for now.